Hello and welcome to Brainy Gardener. Today, it is all about how to grow and care bunny ear cactus plant. Bunny ear cactus is a succulent cactus often grown indoors as a potted plant. It prefers light, sandy soil with very little water and even less humidity. Full sun and occasionally bright, indirect light are good for its health. Ideal indoor temperature range for this plant is between 70 and 100 degrees Fahrenheit. The plant looks quite comical when fully grown, with pads growing in pairs that resemble bunny ears. Bunny ear cactus requires very little care, making it an excellent option for beginners. Here are some points to be considered when handling this plant. The plant needs plenty of sunlight to grow well. Somewhere between 6 to 8 hours of direct sunlight every day in the summer is what they require. In the winter, they like partial shade conditions. So move it to a slightly shadier place once September rolls around. Bunny ear cactus should be watered only when the soil is completely dry. It is essential to avoid overwatering, as this can kill the cactus. The plant grows best in the summertime when it gets hot and dry outside, much like other types of desert vegetation. Like most cacti, bunny ear cactus likes warm and dry conditions. Avoid excess humidity for best results. Fertilizing the bunny ear cactus is unnecessary, but can be done if desired. You can apply a weak liquid fertilizer every month during the growing season. Be sure to avoid over-fertilizing, as this can damage or kill the cactus. Propagation of bunny ear cactus can be done both by using seeds and cuttings. However, cuttings are easier to handle, mature faster, and have a higher chance of success. When cutting, use a sharp tool to cut a pad from the mother plant. Make sure to take one of the larger sized pads so that the cutting has more room for the roots to grow. The best time to propagate is in late spring or early summer. First, plant the cuttings in moist soil and keep them in a warm place until they start to grow new roots. The cutting doesn't need water to grow roots, so hold off on watering until you're sure it's established. Once they have rooted, you can move them to their final location. When potting bunny ear cactus, use a well-draining soil mix that is slightly sandy. Repotting is usually needed every two years when the roots start becoming congested. To repot the bunny ear cactus, you will need a pot at least two inches larger in diameter than the current pot. Make sure that the pot has drainage holes before planting. Although bunny ear cactus is non-toxic in the strictest sense of the word, that does not mean it is completely safe to be around. The glotchets can cause skin irritation if touched. Mealybugs and scale insects are the most common pests of bunny ear cactus. These pests can cause severe damage to the cactus if left unchecked. Spray the plants with a standard insecticide or rub alcohol to get rid of pests. 